It's the In the Money podcast for Keelan's Thursday, October the 8th car. Tom Leach here along with Keelan's director of simulcasting, Jim Goodman. Going to take a look at the feature race on Thursday. It's an allowance race on the turf, and then we'll talk about the late pick four as well. Jim, uh, this is a full field and a really well-matched group, I thought, in the eighth race on Thursday. How did you see it shaking out? Yeah, it's a nice allowance race, and sometimes these weekday features get lost in all the stakes races that we run, but, you know, this is a great betting race. Uh, full field with some also eligibles, and I think you've got a lot of ways you can go in here. I settled on Quality Bird, the nine horse. Uh, it's kind of odd that Ian Wilkes waited until the horse's eighth start to uh, put him on the turf, but when he did, he ran in a $200,000 stakes race in Indiana and finished a nice third, closed well. He was 13 lengths out of it, got within a length and a quarter at the end at a mile, and comes back at a mile at Keeneland, ran behind a really nice horse called Coutier and Granny's Kitten. So uh, some nice competition. Only got beat by a length and a half, and Granny's Kitten would probably be three to five in here. So I think Quality Bird has a real good shot in here. I don't think he's a, a single on pick four, simply because you've got such a wide open race and a lot of other ways to go. The other, the other horse that I really liked was Royal Sun for Todd Fletcher and John Velasquez. The four horse came out, comes out of a Churchill race, the American turf, a grade two, where he didn't really uh, run that great, but he ran behind the Visadero and a lot, horses that came back and won. So you look at horses that came out of a better competition, dropping to an allowance race. I think it's a good spot for Fletcher and Velasquez to pick up a win with Royal Sun. The four, I like one step salsa for Maker, who's three for three. And any given royal for Brian Lynch. The horse has been good at Woodbine, but over three at Keeneland. So he can bring that turf form from Woodbine down here. He's got a shot. So Quality Bird would be my choice. Royal Sun second. And I'd use one step salsa and any given royal in the trifecta underneath. I'm going to make a little bit of a reach here to the two horse Bourbon Happens. Um, a couple of the ones I like that, that you mentioned are drawn outside, which I'm not wild about. Uh, this horse showed big improvement in the last race, and then that followed, followed that up with a bullet work. And with no real standouts in here, I think you're going to get a value uh, price on this horse. As I said, I like the post position, too. So I'm going to try Bourbon Happens, but I would uh, use him in an exact, not, not necessarily key in, but just use him in an exact box. I'd use any given Royal, Indian Audi, Royal Sun, and if you can go one more, I'd take Bourbon Happens, Stable Mate Larego. But uh, I'd take the... Um, the four of, of those plus Bourbon Happens in, in the pick four, which we'll get to right now, which starts in race six. And I wanted to take all in the last race. And to do that, you got to pare it down somewhere else to keep the ticket affordable. So I'm going to single Larry Jones horse Etruscan, the two in the sixth race, a, a shaky single there. But I thought it, the, the last race was the, the best one, and it was against tougher competition and then working well here. Then I'm going to single Lord Commander for Pletcher in the next race. Then I'm going to use the five I mentioned in the eighth and then everybody in the ninth. If you can afford to uh, make that ticket a little bigger, then I would also use the seven horse in the second leg of the pick four along with Lord Commander. But I'm going to go six by three or six with three with two, three, four, ten, eleven with all. How about you? Well, I'm going to do a little bit differently. I like the same horses that, that you like. Um, uh, the horse in the first leg, uh, uh, Etruscan or Etruscan, uh, for Larry Jones. Um, I, I actually like him best, but I also took a look at Masoma, the four horse for Gary Sims, who's coming off a long layoff, ran last November at Churchill and, uh, ran against better competition and ran, ran better for speed numbers than the two horse. So I would go two four in the first leg with Etruscan and Masoma. I would use Lord Commander, the three, and the seven, Wesley Ward's horse, Pow Wow Pow, in the uh, seventh race. I would stick with two horses, Royal Sun, the four, and Quality Bird in the feature race. So I go two by two by two. And I'm like you, as many as you can afford in the last leg. I kind of settled on the three, four, five, six, seven. But I could go with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, <laughs> it, it's a it's a wide open race. And I, you look at a maiden 15,000, and one of the things that I look at is, how many times have they lost? And the, the best speed numbers in here is over 11. And the second best speed numbers is over 8. So yeah. I think the horses that you look at only have a couple of um, a couple of races under their belt haven't screwed up as much. And the four horses run a couple of good races, dropping out made special weight. So Future Express would be my top choice in there, but I don't know the jockey. 
And Hall of Glory for uh, Buff Bradley dropping out of a maiden 30 to maiden 15. Only got beat three and a half at Ellis on the turf. So Hall of Glory would be my second choice. So I'll go four or five. But I also use three, six, seven in there. And again, as many as you can afford. Best of luck on your wagers on the Thursday card. We'll be doing a podcast each day of the fall meet. And then on Saturdays, we expand it to check on some other major stakes races around the country as we continue to count down to Breeders' Cup at Keeneland. This is the In the Money podcast for KeenelandSelect.com.